Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you some steps on how to make a rag quilt purse using your die cut, um, your scallop square die cut with the Big Shot. And um, just excuse the video, it's going to be kind of uh, splotchy because I'm going to have to start and stop and start and stop. Um, but hopefully you'll understand um, how to make one when it's all pulled together. So um, this is what it's going to look like when we're done. Um, and I'm going to show you um, how I purchase the fabric. What I do is I get like a half a yard of the fabric that I want. And to make the purse, I've chosen to use um, three patterns. Some people use six. Uh, I've just chosen to use three because I'm new at this and it was easier for me to figure out. Okay, so the first step is I'm going to put the fabric down and I'm going to cut it to get it ready for the big shot. And um, two of the tools that are three tools that you need, of course, is a large cutting pad. Uh, you need a really nice rotary cutter. Um, I bought one when I first got started and I, I didn't cut through all the fabric really well. This one works really good. Um, no fabric um, gets hung or whatever. It just glides very well. But it is very sharp and it has, this is the protection and, um, well, See my finger? I cut it. Uh, just make sure you keep it closed because I laughed when the lady told me because I said, oh, I'm a paper crafter. I know, you know, I know everything. <laughs> and I've cut myself four times now, so don't make that mistake. Uh, the other thing you're going to need, of course, is this acrylic pad to hold your uh, fabric down. And I have this Gypsy Gripper um, that makes it you it allows you to apply pressure on your fabric so that this doesn't slide when you get to the top okay so now let's get started we're going to cut the fabric i'm going to cut this um, at five inches so i'm going to put this right here and then i'm going to line up it has all these really nice um, grids on here so i know you can't see it but i'm going to um, cut it at five inches. Take my um, protection off there and then just slide. Voila! It's that easy. Okay? Okay, now we're ready to take our strip of fabric and we're going to get it ready to position on our die so that we can run it through the big shot. So what I'm going to do is sit here on the grid paper and then I'm just going to fold it over at the five. Because the Big Shot will cut through eight layers of fabric at one time, I'm going to fold this over so that I can get all eight layers at one time. So I'm just turning it and flipping it so that each time it's folded at the five inch mark. Okay, so now it's ready. So I'm going to set it right on top of this die. And you know what? I'm going to see if I can't maybe zoom in just a tad. How's that? Okay. So I'm going to position it right on top. And then just make sure when you're doing this that you make sure you get all the scallops because I have run my fabric through and missed a couple of the scallops. But this looks good, so I'm ready to run it through the big shot. So I'm going to take the cutting mat, set it right there on top, and then put the pad under there. You're going to take one piece of cardstock. This cardstock just, um, I think it's an example like a shim, and so it just makes it go through the fabric a little bit better. Okay, so now I'm going to run it through. Watch this. This is always so cool. Just reach in the middle and pull it right out. And this is all eight pieces. Isn't that amazing? And so the next part of this video is I'm going to show you how to add your batting and your X's. Okay, you're going to want 19 of these um, sandwiches. So what you're going to do is 
take two pieces of your fabric. Now right now I have the inside of my bag, the pattern is the same as the outside. Some people choose to have a whole different, um, see here's the inside. For me, since I'm a beginner, I thought that it was just easier to have the outside and the inside be the same design. You could just make your inside of your bag just one solid color. Um, but again, this just is my way of simplifying things. Okay, so your batting's gonna be 100% cotton, and I've cut these at three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay, so you're gonna take a glue stick. I've just used um, our Stampin' Up! glue sticks. These are actually our old ones, but they work, and they actually do say ideal for paper, fabric, and other craft materials. Isn't that funny? Fabric. Okay, so you're just gonna put a little bit right in the center, and then put your batting down. And the reason I just do a little bit in the center is because um, when we go to attach our handles in the purse, we slip the handles inside well, if I can get it open. Okay, so see, we're gonna slip our handle right inside there, see? And if we had glue or, yeah, glue all the way on it, we wouldn't be able to slide our handles or our closing strap in there. Okay, so see, that one's done. I'll do one more just, just to show you again. Okay, a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. Position that. Okay, so now the next part of this will be the sewing uh, to add your X that's in the middle of these. Okay, now we're going to um, put the X's on your squares. And so what I've done is I've taken, okay, here's my little, my pins. And what I'm going to do to keep the fabric from sliding while I'm stitching it, I just put a pin on each side. Okay, see that? That keeps the fabric from shifting when I put it on my machine or when I'm stitching it. Okay, so I'm going to, well, I need to turn the power on. There we go. Now, if you wanted the lines to be perfectly straight, um, then you could use um, a marker or one of those pencils that's removable. But since it's a rag quilt purse, then um, I'm okay with the lines not being completely straight. So I'm just going to put my foot down there and then just go from one side. And then right here, instead of going all the way to the end, I'm going to lift the foot and then pull it out. And then now what I'm going to do is bring my next piece. What this allows me to do is do like a, a chain. And so that way I'll get all of these squares done and then I'll cut it. So I'm going to show you that in just a second. So I think you get the idea, so I'm going to lift that out. Okay, so now I have two of my squares that are stuck together with the thread. And then I would do all 19 of these together, so I would cut apart 19. And then once you've got one side of your um, X done, then you're going to put it back in here and um, do the other side of the X. But make sure you take your pins out because you don't want to sew those. And now that I've got one stitch in there, I'm not so concerned about keeping the fabric straight. So I don't put the pins back in. Okay. 